He's on a legitimate Nazi U-boat. It's a U-42. Oh, gee, wow. Good fucking spot, <laughs> <there>. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to investigate the potential, like, implications uh, I love that, I love that Nazis game. showing uh, up on the game, island. I've played the game, like, two or three times at this stage. I got... The racism was quite obvious. Didn't realize the fucking Nazis were sneaking around there as well. <laughs> hey, you're right. U-42. There you go. Famous fucking day. <laughs> No, these That's... guys really did think they were edgy, didn't they? It's like, <laughs> oh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some monkeys speaking jive. Oh, oh, Andy, that's really funny, Andy. There's another idea. Why don't we have a, have a Nazi submarine? A Nazi a Nazi. Yeah. Well, that's, that's really funny, Andy. Uh, uh, Andy, do you think I could grow a personality? No, I don't think so. Bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Andy, Andy, do you think it's strange if we all have the same voice? No, we're all. We're... We're all educated These in the same college, you see. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. What do you think we're doing now, Andy? Well, yeah. oh, I think we're writing professionals in a boring yeah. job now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still vote yeah. conservative? I do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 A Christmas pudding. Hey, guys, look, a Christmas pudding. We're going to use this Christmas hey, pudding. Christmas pudding. Oh, I thought you were going to use the tennis rackets to... Uh... What the fuck? Yep, yeah, we're gonna kill polar bears. Uh -oh. What the fuck? Big, big alert. I think that little guy is gonna get over the. <laughs> we killed two He's polar so... bears. It's not like they're in danger, Dragon. No. <laughs> I mean, they're nothing without their motorcycles, you know? <laughs> right, now yeah, walk into deep snow with your tennis rackets. Exactly. That were ominously yeah. left beside the sign. Yeah, funny how that works, wasn't it? Real kind of coincidence, that. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Just magnet magnetically stick onto our shoes, just like that. Ah, as they do, you know. Magnets are yeah. big in 1996. They were, yeah, Mag magnetic. Those are, the, of course, the magnet, the uh, magnet air ones that uh, Spud is wearing. <laughs> and then we can walk into this uh, this town completely unaided. I know I should no, no, be it's fine. Pause. Sorry, go on. No, go on. You go first. I don't mean to be environmental here, but um, the Nazis are way ahead of the time. That U boat was a hybrid. It was, like, that was, it was a hydrogen? Helium? No, electric. Uh, two electric engines, two diesel. Oh. So at least they're environmentally conscious, apart from killing Jews. The, 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 yeah, uh, I mean, all, uh, basically everyone that wasn't a white Aryan man. Yeah, woman. pretty much. Yeah, uh, we were. I do, I do remember seeing, like, um, when we were studying the Nazis in uh, school, I think they said like the plan for Ireland was to become make it one massive penal colony. Which I'm thinking like it's like I think like, that's it. That's all you got for us. That's fucking lazy. <laughs> you, you look at our country, you think a giant prison? I was like that's a bit harsh. I mean, it'd be a very nice prison, a lot of green, you know. But like, <laughs> <better than> that. <laughs> Bit of imagination, that's come on. Bit of a, yeah, a bit of creativity, like you know, fuck off, like. Is that what they read? I thought we were just gonna kind of be left alone. No, no, no. The, it oh. was the, the the plan was like it, where like they would just conquer all of us and we would be a penal uh, a one giant penal island essentially. Ah, penal. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you love getting penal, don't you? Let's, let's not talk about our kinks on this uh, on the video, Dave. Yeah, leave, leave it to after recording. That's Aaron's. It's not my fault. Oh, oh, oh! The police are here. You know, hear the sirens? I swear, if they're black as well. Oh, here comes the shop music. Either they're gonna be black or they're gonna be pigs. Um, I kind of want them to be pigs. <laughs> no, look, they're penguins. 
fucking phenomenal. They're penguins. This is Penguin Town, of course. Can't you not tell from the igloos, Aaron, you idiot? Sorry, I was distracted by the blatant fucking Nazis and racism. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tribal police, clearly. Oh, it's also us. Look at this. So we have... Fucking run away! Fucking run away, you stupid fucking idiot! Bonk. Jesus Christ. No, do you know what the funny thing is? One of them has a gun and they all have spears. He gets killed by the baseball bat in one knock. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yep. Logic dictates baseball bat. Yep, that's uh, that's the kind of town we've, we've stepped into here. <laughs> every penguin is armed with something. Yep, every penguin also looks like they want to put Jesus on a crucifix. Yep, yep, that's your too. Because <sighs> clearly now that we like we've, we've dealt with the Nazis, we've dealt with uh, with ra with racing. Now we're doing religious persecution. Now that's where that's the next thing to get to to offend people with. I wish I could say I was. <laughs> I wish I could say I wasn't expecting it, but I kind of am. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like, when, when the game is opening with racism, like... Um, you've had drugs, you've had pedophilia, you've had racism, you've had Nazis. They run out of stuff to actually put in the game. Yeah. Pretty fucking much. <laughs> so, the way this uh, section works is, is, uh, is... Well, basically, like, you're kind of avoiding the police up to a certain point. There's an item you need that's going to uh, save you when you do get cornered eventually. So you no have to beats, find an no item. Beats, no one beats bongos on a Thursday. <laughs> well, it's police bongos. Being played by Sting himself. <laughs> oh, so okay. Aaron, you're right. Running away does <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> There you go. I don't think um, a hard hair. Um, I don't think penguins make that sound, do they? They do actually make that sound, yes. Uh, More like a. Uh, they don't sound like seagulls, no. Surrender. You will be unharmed, fairly unharmed. Quite severely harmed, actually, but at least you will survive. Possibly. Bunk. <laughs> what the fuck? Because he has a hair on. It does nothing. Yep. Again, there was a penguin there with a shotgun. Yeah. Well, you have saying. to make a violent Jonathan, but you can't make it too violent. <laughs> we literally got beheaded by a polar bear. But there was no blood, so it could have just been he got stretched. You know? No. No. <laughs> I'm beheaded by a polar bear. There's no really good way to cut that. We got our fucking head swiped off us. <laughs> like that, that was fucking it, Aaron. That was that was the fucking nut, nuts and bones of it there. So you've got a white old man and a walrus. A walrus. A walrus that I feel I could get out of that pretty easy by just shifting its tail a bit. But look, well, who am I to judge? <laughs> Yeah, let, let's not bring the logic point, of the game too uh, early, yeah? Just, uh, at this point, it feels like it's just a king gee, thing. But look, I What's he gonna fucking yeah. play them some music now? To play a bit of Creed. We're, we're, we're gonna make like, a golden trumpet. Yeah, yeah a bit of Creed. I just trip him higher. <laughs> And there they wake up. Like Camley, which you know is bullshit because if they got woken up by a trumpet, no, they would have been going, What are you doing? You prick! Stealing wax, cabbages, and kings. That's what we told the judge, you see. She locked us up for life. Of course, he's fresh. For eating a few oysters. Mm -hmm. But she was an oyster's wife. So now for years on end, we sit and talk of what should be. He has a homestead hereabouts. Friend, he has a homestead hereabouts. Here's a key. <laughs> Here's a key. Come on, kid. The Emperor Penguin wants to see you. Come on, kid. Say the Emperor penguin penguin wants to see you. The Shut penguin it, Carpenter. Gold. He snapped. Shut it, Carpenter. 
And the walrus punched him hard. Jesus? <laughs> they just be thinking the walrus is on their side. It's a reference to some. It's a reference to some British TV show. I can't remember what it is. It's like one of those children's TV shows. I'm oh, starting I'm to think the penguins just want to take their land back from the British. I mean, they, they don't have Irish accents, so it's probably not that. No, but they are American. Are they American? It's the Falcons. It's the Falcon Islands. Oh, the don't, they, don't they have a, <laughs> don't they have a big penguin population? They do, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a Nazi U boat, and they did all escape to Argentina, so you're gonna be right. Here you go. See, kid, in life, you gotta show respect. Can't have you going around flattening people, see. Fucking take the two jab of the hots. You're flattening them. You're no, can you respect. tell it's it's been a man and brown no impression? What was disrespectful? We're doing, we're doing uh, the, the, the penguins. <laughs> God damn it, that's so obvious. Keep unwelcome deaths away from the fortress beyond the penguin village. We have to, you see, the evil Dr. Chilbling ordered the picture. He's trying to speak and breathe past the 10 year old cheeseburger, cheeseburger stuff in his throat. Look at my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. They made him a scrambled. They served him sunny side up. How big, how big is his arms? It's just like... <laughs> Very calmly. Yeah, well, well, let's talk off perspective as one of the many things this game got wrong, Aaron. It's like one of the Matt Piles from It's Always Sunny. I have no depth perception! So he's got to like, he's trying to like cut something in it. He lost an yeah. ice, he's just going. <laughs> so, yeah, so now, so in order to, so in order for us to uh, freely roam Penguin Town, we have to save the Emperor's son from the, uh, the, 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 um, what was it? the mines, I think it is. It's the, something and will, the, will, the will the Emperor be getting a new groove once we find his son? I think you should stop asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. The pixie mines. That's it. That's what it was. Are these going to look like the same as the other mines, yeah? And very similar, actually, yes. <laughs> well, the, pi the pixie mine sounds like a gay club, i got to be honest. It does, doesn't it, actually? It, it feels like it's yeah. like a... a, a yeah. It doesn't define the state. What is this soundtrack? Jesus. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because the uh, the Emperor's son doesn't want to come home because his father judged him for being gay. Drill. Very good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll be the gayest egg in the village. <laughs> I do love how I have this up to like full HD and it's still just. Oh, don't even bother. Horrendous. Yeah. Don't even bother. You're not missing anything whatsoever. Do you know what? Right. I'm gonna get the proper experience. I'm putting this down to 144p. The there you go. Intended. That's your man. That's the he's got it now. I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's yep. Three, that looks it's 360 iron. It's 360. You should be at now, pal. Yeah. Yeah, 360 seems a lot more natural on the ice. It's a minecart with a broken wheel. Oh no, how do we fix the broken wheel? My oh, god, King! It's a car with a broken wheel! Son of a bitch! Somebody stop the damn car! <laughs> Somebody put the handbrake on! <laughs> a toolbox! One of my favorite clips ever on the internet is that guy doing the Jim Ross impression, watching the uh, watching back the Jericho return. So, what, two J? What is it? What? Is it? It's Stone Cold. No, it's not Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> they were Stone Cold. I love the one Paul Heyman done sitting right next to him on live TV. That. I mean. <laughs> Normally, you would investigate what's ahead, you know, like make sure that the yep. track is actually there. But, yeah. You know. Well, that was the that was the trick, you see, because we didn't do that. Uh, if we had actually got to the end of the track, we see we needed to do change. 
Now this is, now, so this is, this is me kind of confirming the weird glitchiness of the game over because the wheel is broken on the actual trolley and yet the game is still registered with doing that puzzle. So it looks like it's broken, but it's actually fixed. It's in this weird kind of like, what they stay where like the, whatever programming checklist it has, has registered with you've done it, but it doesn't show us doing it. And the weird thing is that items are, some of those items are already used up. So it can be a bit of a lottery whether the game lets you away with it or not. Oh, how useful an oil can. You can see that was a giant fucking oil can. That presumably is hosting a genie. Did you see somebody on uh, Twitter? Well, people on Twitter have found a, a near 20 year old tweet uh, where some fella goes, Punk versus Benoit, F yes, about a day before Benoit does what he does. <laughs> Talk about agent fucking a bad day. Like a fine wine. Like a fine fucking wine. <laughs> I would frame that and hang it in my kitchen. <laughs> Obviously, the I mean, people that will finally get their replies are just absolutely phenomenal. Just <laughs> I love really somebody somebody's old stuff. Twitter account is now just suddenly flared up after 20 years going, I haven't <laughs> logged on since that terrible day that I predicted his death. And now the internet has come for me. I'm a father of four now. I have a steady job and an income and two dogs, and that's all I'll be remembered for. <laughs> Do you see what I mean there about like the the position resetting each time you come into the room? Yeah. It just it just it just changes you one way or another, and it's it's. Quite jarring, especially if you're in a rush. Okay, there's a there's a switch. It's a rusty lever for switching the track. Maybe if we use that oil can. What do you mean? What do you, you call it, Dave? About an oil can. Oil can. Oil can. Oil can. Hey, look! It's a little gnome. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's have no animation whatsoever. <laughs> you only get animations when you get fucking killed. Yeah, exactly. That's where they put the effort into. They put the effort into the, into the death scenes. And that's at least something I can respect. Because, you know, every, every adventure game needs good death scenes, you know? Yeah. A toolbox. <laughs> One very underrated design of the uh, of the two of the when the gnome has a toolbox is that if the the model from behind does actually have a builder's crack, which I think is actually a good a, a nice touch. That is good aesthetic right there. That is the last time I'll ever um, uh, play this game. <laughs> that was ahead of a back bump, wasn't it? Like just literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy's a worker. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah, I gotta get him to him. Fucking gorilla pressed by a fucking cart. <laughs> Look at on oh, back. It's a hip there, right? Yeah. He's actually officially a better bumper than Darby Allen. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it's you like, know, Dar Darby Allen, no. The thing is, Darby Allen can bump very well. He just does stupid bumps. Did you see the glass that went over the woman's face from the pay-per-view? Yeah, but it's fine because AEW put up this uh, sign at the start of the shows saying that you accept responsibility for any damage that might be caused if you sit in the front rows. So legally, they're all fucking sound, Dave. All right? It's fine. Even the front so rows. They, they knew that was going to happen. They put that actually on, on, on all the shows that you go to when you see AEW live, especially the arena ones. Uh, I didn't see personally see that the Wembley show, but then again I was sitting fucking up in the corner, and the closest thing I got to any actual wrestling was when Dean Ambrose came out from under the thing below me, the stadium stampede. Well, we we were further away than you were. 
Yeah. Which, by the way, stadium stampede when you're actually like any match Shite. that involves not being there, it's Shite. crap. It's awful fucking television. awful. Yeah, it's not a good match at all for a live crowd. A pneumatic Unless you happen to be in one of the spots that they're going through. Yeah, that's the thing. Is you have to be in the, you know, always have to be lucky in a sense. It yeah. can work if you're in a smaller place where you're more likely to see stuff. Mm. Oh, hey, look, it's a pixie. Uh oh. You seen us? That's a fucking, that's a fucking orc. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, that's um, that's something. That was uh, that was awesome. So yeah, so whenever we're in a room with a pixie, you basically just get the fuck out of dodge before he turns around and kills you. And you'll you know they're there because you can hear them mining with their really totally yeah. insecure axes. Oh yeah, and this fucking thing. This is an automatic. That's when they thing. don't want. That's yeah. It's when they don't want to walk. <laughs> just walk underneath that there, lad. Yeah. Would you mind? Would you mind terribly if you just put your neck just underneath where the uh, bar is? That'd be great. Yeah, the funniest part is that Squid was generally stupid enough to walk underneath it. <laughs> White people. Huh? Hi. You can see how the story Ro Roma beat Brighton four 0 Yeah. And they had a they had a, a banner during the game game saying the Queen gives blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton, famously known as the Royal uh, Club of England, that really got under their skin. Yeah. Okada, by the way, is getting paid. Only got to sign a three-year deal with AEW, and is going to get paid thirteen and a half million for those three years. Two billion yen, which sounds a lot cooler than thirteen and a half. Yeah. Million. <laughs> yeah, it does. He's a billionaire in his own country. Yeah. Then he'll be a. I think he'll be a millionaire somewhere else. I mean, fucking why not? He's in his forties. Might as well just, just might as well make money now. Stint in AEW. Stint in WWE. Get your cash and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, fair. I mean, it's worth it's worth for Shinsuke. Probably Shinsuke is going, dude. Come to America. They'll throw money at you. They don't even know if you're good enough. They'll just throw money at you. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> been, I got. I went surfing for a year. Still earned a million dollars. I literally went on surfing me, like. <laughs> right, so how do we get past this machine, or did we just get past it? We did. You basically have to, like, move hey, when the yeah, axe is down, but then by the time you move, it's up. It's me, your best pal. Don't tell me you don't remember me. We don't Does actually. this do the piss head? Yep, he's a pisser. He's a he's a drunk. So he is. Either that, or there's not a lot of oxygen in that mine. I mean, that's also possible. Maybe the actual helmet he has is squeezing on his temple, and it's uh, making his brain squish. So the clue to get past to to solve his problems is to, uh, he wants to troll party. He wants to have a little party. Ah! I mean, who doesn't want to have a party? You know? Mm. You're down in the mines. There's fuck all else to do. Why not? Alan's enjoying this game so much, he's fucking taking tabs. <laughs> yeah. A very strong painkiller for my goddamn tooth. <laughs> 